first one which we starts with is idle user okay and idle admin did we cover this part what is the difference between idle and idle admin i think no right no no sir yeah. in, <coughs> in users in roles this is very very important interview question ma even in real time also okay when we see user administration this part will come okay so in roles we have two roles with respect to idle idle okay this one we seen but this is this one we didn't see only simple thing is what is the difference between these two that is very important question they will ask okay so uh, first of all just tell me what is the role of itil why we use itil or why why itil role is useful to manage the incident to manage the incidents yes right only incidents your answer is right but not a complete one but yeah to manage the incident yes starting is right only incident management uh, if we give any user the role of itl he will be able to he will be able to access um, access all the applications all the applications means what the applications all means so many applications not, uh, right? not all sir maximum i cannot say all like most of the applications yeah most of them what okay let's say most of them can he able hey, to ITSM access... applications only ITSM or ITIL based application okay okay this is very important ITIL ITSM okay i think we covered it as part of the first demo class when we say ITSM or ITIL it talks about service management okay in order to drive a uh, service what are the applications base applications we have okay if we will just list it incident change okay problem problem task okay knowledge reporting okay like few these and all comes under itil applications there are many more there are few more but these are base okay so the itil role if i my account is part of itil role i can do i can manage as uh, disha told manage that word is exact word manage all these uh, applications okay so when you are this point till this point clear ma yes yes yeah. what does it mean shall we if we seen it already but uh, maybe for uh, disha and vakanjo maybe i can show once okay let's pick one user guys okay, i'll just pick one user from here uh, just go to users okay just take any user maybe our user only i will take this is a user we created okay so first now let's see what are the roles this particular user is containing okay there are, she have so many roles right and uh, it, it uh, there is also a group so let's see remove the roles i think most of the roles came from a group inherited equal to true okay so i am specifically there is one is added manually okay i am removing the itl role okay even i can remove the other roles also but it doesn't matter okay for us right now she is non itil role these are all standard roles man standard roles means they came with this particular application okay we don't want it but now see a non itil role user okay so this user is not having an itil role okay we we are seeing it so how to check it i want to check the behavior of instance with this user account how how i can check it impersonate impersonation very good okay so i can impersonate it so impersonation is one of the option where administrators and impersonator role people can do it means you can just check the same instance with other account okay so see a, a person a user who doesn't have an itl role she can see these applications okay these are they are standard 
okay global applications where everyone can see right so these are the applications now what we do is we will see the same behavior once we add the same user to itl role okay so i am adding the same user now to itl role okay so itl then save it okay, now the same user is an itl role okay now again go back impersonate right okay see earlier uh, the applications that we see in noticed okay are different now than these applications so see some extra applications came service desk maybe service desk was there incident problem change configuration password reset okay skills reports live feed connect okay dependent views okay chart cv this and all sla sla is also slm service level management okay so all these new things came new things came because of one role which we added is itl okay so we can say these are all itl based applications is that clear ma everyone yes others mashila garu pratibha garu yes. shanti garu everyone yeah yes, see now okay when we see this particular question okay we need to see what is okay first of all read it okay uh ideal application ideal role is a kind of help desk technician and it is for technical out of the box okay can can update close cancel okay incident problem change configuration management item channel this is all chuma whatever we discussed that the same okay and now see if we where is this one? Uh, sir one second hmm? uh what so itil user can access itis IT, itsm applications that what we say right itil yeah itil based applications itil based applications and its some applications also no, uh, maybe no ma okay. itil based application itsm is a global one like we have portfolios mm -hmm. and all maybe so like, actually like in, in interview if they ask like what would be the good sentence to itil define? based applications simple okay don't use itsm based applications itl the name itself is telling na itl role itl applications mm -hmm. that's it okay your question is a good question yes okay you are preparing for interviews now <laughs> <laughs> good okay so sima very what very important is okay crud what is crud create read read oh, sorry <laughs> okay do it update delete okay so these are the operations right so a user can create a record okay read the record update the record and delete the record okay so see a itil user can create a record she have a access to create a record on this table okay create <coughs> read a record she can open a record and read it okay so uh, whatever we are seeing is this is called reading okay update a record she can change something so now i am adding a new thing okay and saving it or updating it it's called update create read okay update but can she have an option to delete this record so here or here do we have any option to delete it delete a record no only no right mm. so an itil user only can do these three operations okay delete operation e, e, for, delete operation is not available for itil user okay now the other one itil admin okay so see the same page we have opened the same page okay, we will be here only in the same page maybe i can take a duplicate okay but what i do is i will uh, move to my account again <coughs> okay for the same account so okay till this point everyone clear she is an itl itl user she can operate this three this is what the sentence statement is that clear my everyone yes sir yes sir yeah. yes sir now we add the same user with itl admin okay so itl admin
okay now just see one more time she is itil plus itil admin now okay there is yes okay now here okay now we are with this account okay so i am just refreshing in order to get it updated right so earlier something we didn't see but now we are able to see what is this this button delete delete so now this user can delete a record from the table so now tell me what is the difference between itil and itil admin yeah admin have all four controls and the itil uh, without admin uh, have three controls yeah on which tables on which applications on itil applications itil based applications see here this is telling the same can open update close incident all this stuff but here itil admin have more privileges than itil role and it is in uh, okay it's intended for team leads maybe the managers and all but not for every agent this role has an ability to delete incidents problem changes and other related entities only thing is a delete okay so maybe one thing is who can have itil admin okay maybe a manager a team lead we don't give itil admin for everyone because if we give it they start deleting things 